Well, between Jack's back taxes and the Fred Hayes show, I'd say that was a pretty successful broadcast. Thank you very much, Houston. Uh, we got a couple of housekeeping procedures for you. We'd like you to roll right to 060 and know your rates. Roger that. Rolling right. 060. And then if you could uh, give your oxygen tanks a stir. Roger that. Have a problem. We have a main bus B undervolt. We've got a lot of thruster What's activity here, Houston. Now? It just went offline. Oh, there's another master alarm, Houston. I'm checking a quad. Christ, that was no repress valve. Maybe it's in quad We've got a computer restart. I'm going to reconfigure the RCS. We've got a big light. Fire doesn't make any sense. We've got multiple caution and warning, Houston. We've got a reset restart. All right, I'm going to SDS. Like the heart rates are skyrocketing. Econ, what's your data telling you? Uh, O2 tank two not reading at all. Tank one is at uh, 725 psi and falling. Fuel cells one and three are. Uh... Oh boy, what's going on here? Flight. Gene, we have a situation brewing with the carbon dioxide. We had a CO2 filter problem on the lunar module. Five filters on the limb, which are meant for two guys for a day and a half. So I told the doctor. They're already up to eight on the gauges. Anything over 15, and you get impaired judgment, blackouts, the beginnings of brain asphyxia. What about the scrubbers on the command module? They take square cartridges. And the ones on the limb are round. <laughs> Tell me this isn't a government operation. It just isn't a contingency we've remotely looked at. Those CO2 levels are going to be getting toxic. Well, I suggest you gentlemen invent a way to put a square peg in a round hole. Rapidly. Okay, people, listen up. People upstairs handed us this one, and we gotta come through. We gotta find a way to make this fit into the hole for this, using nothing but that. Let's get it organized. Okay, okay, let's build a filter. Maybe get some coffee going, too. The deadly CO2 gas is literally poisoning the astronauts with every breath in and out. Heads up, heads up. Heads up, people. Look out now. What's this? That's what they got to make. Well, I hope you got the procedures for me. Right here. That's it? Well, the astronauts appear to have enough oxygen to keep them alive. One thing they have too much of is carbon dioxide. With each breath, the three men expel more of the poisonous gas into the lunar module cockpit, and the scrubbers intended to keep the atmosphere breathable are quickly becoming saturated. <laughs> oh, shit, I tore it. Shit. Uh, Houston, uh, what do we do if we uh, rip the bag? Can we tape it? They just tore the bag. Oh, no. Uh, stand by. What you tell them, bitch? Well, they should have one more bag left. But they've still got... Uh, a long way to come, and they are now working on their backup facilities, their emergency facilities, and the problem is, if anything more goes wrong, they're in real trouble. Where is this, Houston? Uh, do you have a flight plan up there? Uh, affirmative, Andy. Uh, Jack's got one right here. Okay, we have a, uh, an unusual procedure for you here. We need you to rip the cover off. I want you to rip the cover off the flight plan. With pleasure. All right, now the other materials you're going to need here are uh, a lithium hydroxide canister. Two, two, two lithium hydroxide canisters, I'm sorry. A uh, roll of gray tape. Duct tape. A duct tape. You need an LCG bag, two LCG bags, uh, red suit hoses. And you've got the flight plan cover. <laughs> their level of carbon dioxide it's uh climbing you're, you're saying that they're almost out of breathable air no wait a second wait a second that's that's not what he said he said we're working you want to 
cut duct tape three feet long. Right, I'll use his arm. Just use your arm. It's a good arm length. Oh, OK, Houston, I see what you're getting at. Hold on. OK, Jack, tear that piece of tape down the middle lengthwise. All right. Hold on, Houston. Houston, filter's in place. Roger, 30. Suits are relief to close. CO2 canister, select to secondary. All right. Here goes. I can hear air moving. Just bring normal fellas. Aquarius, uh, please advise on CO2 status. Ah, uh, yeah, Houston, we're taking a look at those numbers right now. Uh, we're still holding close to 15, Houston. Roger that, standing by. Houston, the CO2 level has dropped to nine, and it is still falling. Yes. Good job. That is good to hear, Aquarius.